ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് മീഡിയ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഫിസിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് ടുഡേ എല്ലാവർക്കും നമസ്കാരം നമ്മുടെ ക്ലാസ്സിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം വി ആർ പാസിംഗ് ഓൺ ടു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് മോഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലാസ് ഓഫ് മോഷൻ നമ്മളൊരു പുതിയ ചാപ്റ്ററിലേക്കാണ് പോകുന്നത് പ്ലീസ് കെയർഫുള്ളി വാച്ച് ദറ്റ് ഫിഗർ ഇൻ യുവർ സ്ക്രീൻ ആ ചിത്രത്തിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു നോക്കൂ എന്തൊക്കെ കാണാം ഒരു അഞ്ച് ഫിഗർ ഉണ്ട് അവിടെ അല്ലേ യു ക്യാൻ സി ഫൈവ് ഫിഗേഴ്സ് ദിയർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ടു ബോയ്സ് ആർ പുഷിങ് എ ടേബിൾ ടു വേഴ്സ് ദ സെയിം ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഫ്രം ദ സെയിം സൈഡ് രണ്ട് കുട്ടികൾ ഒരേ ദിശയിൽ അൻപത് ന്യൂട്ടൺ ബലം വീതം പ്രയോഗിച്ച് തള്ളുകയാണ് സോ ദ ടോട്ടൽ ഫോഴ്സ് ബിക്കംസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി പ്ലസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ന്യൂട്ടൺസ് then uh, second figure you just uh, see that second figure in that appears two persons are pushing at the same table with opposite direction both of them are uh, applying 50 newton each rendu veru 50 newton balam idavana prayogikunna pakshe edir dishayila oral prayogikunnan edir dishayilana adutha aal prayogikunnu adondu namukku parayam first person prayogikunna balam 50 newton rendamatha aal prayogikunnathu minus 50 then what will be the total force or effective force 50 minus 50 that becomes zero so that force is called balanced force second force is called what balanced force but the first force that is unbalanced one that is where it moves then uh, listen the third figure in that you can see a person is pushing the table with 80 newton and another boy he is pushing the table in the opposite direction with a 40 newton so 80 plus minus 40 why right? because it is in the opposite direction 80 adiga minus 40 nu parayan karana minus 40 nu parayan karana edir dishayilana kutti balam prayogikunnu then what will be the effective force total force or the resultant force 80 minus 40 it is 40 newton so that table moves in the direction of force applied by the person 18 newton it moves in that direction so that is uh, unbalanced force then you can see the fourth figure in which uh, two persons are applying wrestling uh, applying force for wrestling it is 120 newtons it is equal but opposite so that is a balanced force so there is no movement is happening in that case then if you are listening the last figure it is a tug of war in which one team applying a force of 400 newton and the other team applying a force 300 newton so 400 in one direction and 300 in the opposite direction so the effective force or the resultant force or we can say the total force becomes 40 minus sorry 400 400 newton minus 300 newton so 100 newton so it is unbalanced force and in that case the rope and the persons are moving on the side of the person who are applying 400 newton so there is movement is there or motion is there so that is very important so if there is an unbalanced force there is a motion but if there is no if there is a balanced force if there is unbalanced force motion is happened but if there is a balanced force there is no movement why because the forces are equal and opposite then you just uh, see that uh, table then you you have to fill up fill that table using the pictures just i will explain figure 3 1 f1 is 15 newton f2 is equal to 15 newton total force 50 plus 50 100 newton but in figure second first force is 15 newton and second force is minus 50 why because it is it is in the opposite direction so the resultant force or total force becomes zero but in the figure 3 f1 is 18 newton and f2 is equal to minus 40 so the resultant force becomes 80 minus 40 40 newton 
then figure 4 f 1 is equal to 120 Newton and f 2 also in uh, in the opposite direction minus 120 Newton. So, the resultant force becomes 120 minus 120 it becomes 0. Then figure last or fifth figure f 1 is equal to 400 Newton and f 2 is equal to minus 300 Newton. So, the resultant force becomes 400 minus 300. So, it becomes 100 Newton. So, from that in which of the situation depicted in the figure did the total applied force become 0? Like a 0 figure second limb, figure 4 limb. At the same does the body moves in all these situations? No. If the resultant force becomes 0, the body is not in motion. But if the, the, if the resultant force is not 0, it moves. Then you just uh, see the last part. If the total force or the resultant force on a body is 0, the applied force are called balanced forces. Such forces can neither move a body at rest nor stop a body in motion. For resultant force 0 applied force in the balanced force the balanced force in a rest in a chalipicano, rustilacano, vega the cutano, unum, carilla. Important point okay? if, the, if the total force or the resultant force of one body is zero, the applied forces are called balanced forces. Such forces can neither move a body at rest nor stop a body in motion. So, it is very important you just write to this thing in your science diary. Okay? Then uh, listen next one that is an activity. Activity in the Kana, the Rimasa Proto with Petty Vichite, Renda Capuda Sahayatal, Pulli Vada Sahayatal, and the weight to Kitrikiana. If the two weights are equal, in that figure you can see it is 200 grams and 200 grams. If they are equal, the body does it move. But if one side becomes 250 gram, it moves in that direction. It becomes unbalanced force. If you have the unbalanced force, you can use the unbalanced force. That is why you can use the unbalanced force. When an unbalanced force is applied on a body, there will be a change in its state of rest or the direction of motion or speed. If you have the unbalanced force, you can use the unbalanced force. But if you are applying a balanced force, we can't move the object. So, the last part is uh, very very important. Then uh, if you are getting any doubt, please ask me to my personal number and you have to write these important points in your science diary. Okay? So, you just uh, if you have any doubt, please ask me. Okay? Thank you.